Good morning, everybody. This is Leo once again giving you a shout out. Still watching my uh, Good Day Philadelphia. And uh, just going to go through a little lesson here that, you know, our country, our leaders, our politicians, our police, criminal justice system, they don't really understand the Constitution, the laws of this country, so they say they do, it's just they do it for their process. Anyway, uh, there's a reason why you have freedom of the press in America. Uh, firstly, it's a check and balance against uh, abusive power, corrupt power. It's a protection of the people of the United States. Um, this is what they've been trying to shut down. Um, it's also one of the things I'm fighting, freedom, freedom of the press. Um, and I'm just going to read this. Freedom of the press in the United States is legally protected by the First Amendment, which is what I'm being, what's being violated, and what they're putting me on trial for, because I'm, because I'm speaking. This amendment, and I'm doing a story, and I've been doing a story for over four years, and I have proof of that uh, about, about this subject. So um, I told them it's a press story. I was not told that I could not do press stories. So... Uh, this is legal. This amendment is generally understood to prevent the government from interfering with the distribution of information and opinions. And that's exactly what they're doing. Exactly what they're doing. Interfering with the distribution of information and, and opinions. So this is part of the suit that's going to be coming against uh, Philadelphia and Ms. Sherlock and stuff like that uh, because uh, they inhibited the freedom of the press and freedom of speech and... and, and violations of the First Amendment. Uh, why is freedom of the press important? Freedom of the press is important because it plays a vital role in informing citizens and public affairs and monitoring the actions of government at all levels. That's why Trump doesn't like it. That's why most of the high-end officials don't like it because it's a check and balance. You know, you can call them. That's what they call free press, freedom of the press. Freedom of all media is the principle that communication and expressions through various media, including printed and electronic media, especially published materials, should be considered a right to be exercised freely. Hello, McFly people. I'm getting put in jail because I'm doing this right here, because I'm actually reporting a free press. And it's exactly opposite of that. And I have a complainant on her already. Uh, I am appealing the decision. Once again, they're putting me in, trying to put me in jail again next week for this. Freedom of the press. What happened to this country? This is Philadelphia. What happened? Does, does the U.S. have freedom of the press in the United States? Is legally protected by the First Amendment of the United States and the Constitution. It says it right there. And uh, I've been doing a press story. What does freedom of the press protect? It protects by the first place. It's critical to the, the democracy in which the government is accountable to the people. It's exactly what our government isn't accountable to the people. It needs to be. A free media functions as a watchdog that can investigate and report on government wrongdoing, which is typically why the government goes after the people trying to, to do that. Now, I, I'm not necessarily trying to make trouble. Uh, they made trouble over here. Uh, what I was trying to do is correct it, and they just keep going down this terrible path. Now, I also know that my rival, Miss Sherlock, has uh, connections with uh, Governor Tom Wolf uh, of Pennsylvania, which is also another reason uh, why I think they're going so gung-ho with me, where they should have dropped this case like a hot potato. Um, besides that point, uh, and it's funny because Governor Tom Wolf is my type of uh, person coming across. I'm a Jeep person. Uh, I, I went for 22 years driving a Jeep, and, and his commercials is he's the you know down home guy driving a Jeep going into the government, and yet you know his government is coming after the people pretty hard. Uh, Larry Krasner, you know, I was going through his his stuff last night, and he's the head DA uh, of uh, Philly, and. Uh, you know, looking at his resume, this is, he has all the beliefs that I do, you know, about big on civil rights, all, the, all this other type of stuff, and it's his office coming after me for freedom of press and freedom of speech, so it's the complete opposite of, uh, maybe he's not aware of it, 
uh, a complete opposite of of what you know he had believed in. So his office certainly isn't following that. Um, is censorship illegal in the United States? Well, China, child pornography, it says it is. Uh, obviously, that's that's not good. Uh, so that you know, there's obviously some things you can't do, uh, but um, most of it within reason is is open. Nothing I'm doing is is out without out of reason. Uh, a careful reading of the First Amendment reveals that it protects several basic liberties, freedom of religion, speech, press, petition, assembly, interpretation of the amendment is far from easy as court case after court case has tried to define the limits of these freedoms. So anything that's written down can be interpreted a, a thousand different ways uh, with the law as well. Um, so... Uh, and also part of, of crime and, and, and criminal uh, stuff is, is you have to have a criminal intent. Your, your intent is to, to commit a crime. And nothing I did was an intent to, to commit a crime. So, you know, they're doing this. And once again, nobody, I know nobody really cares uh, about this. You know, it's, it's my issue, so I care about it more than anybody else does. But I'm opening up so that hopefully down the road, after you see what they do to me, that somebody else will be able to get protected against these people um, and this system. Uh, so if it can save one life, uh, innocent life, uh, or you know, being destroyed by our criminal justice system, which ends up playing out in the community anyway, I don't know why these people think they're so isolated. Uh, you see it. You see it happening. So. Um, it just doesn't work. I, I don't know how how many times how many times it's got to be done that people don't understand it doesn't work. It hasn't worked. It's still not working. Getting worse. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Anyway, uh, here's a little thing where they're telling you mother warns against vaping after son almost dies. So those vapors are not necessarily good for you either. I had tried switching to that myself, uh, but uh, went back. Anyway, that's my little report for today, just giving a little history on um, the First Amendment, freedom of the press, freedom of speech. Uh, once again, I'm going to get in trouble for this. They're going to sit there and argue with me. I don't have a right to do this. Uh, and, and once again, internet censorship in the United States is the suppression of information published or viewed on the internet in the United States. It's exactly what they're doing. It's the exact, these protections extend to the internet. However, the U.S. government has censored sites in the past, and they are increasing in number to this day. So we're getting in censorship and book burning area of this country. Uh, it's really going off off track and there's no way to stop them other than the people standing up. They took out all the, the stop gaps to, to you know, stop the abuse and the corruption. It's, a, it's, it's just incredible and I'm so upset because I expect more. I expect more from what's supposed to be the finest people in our nation and the elites. I expect more. I'm very disappointed myself. And I'm sure there's some people disappointed in me. That's okay. I already heard it. And I've been punished for it. You haven't yet. Uh, what are the most books banned? Re re who regulates the Internet in the U.S.? Federal FCC does. Um, all that type of stuff. Are there limits of freedom of speech? Yes, you can't yell. You can't yell bomb in the middle of an airplane. You know, there's obviously some types of limits. So, that's what I'm partially what I'm fighting, and uh, that's just a little lesson that we got going on here. That most people, you know, as you're going through your daily lives, if you have the family and kids, and you're, you know, you're all set, everything's running right. You're not going to think of any of this stuff. You're just going to be going through your life and live in it, which you, which you should. You should be out enjoying and doing the things that you want, pursuing the pursuits that you want, or what they call pursuit of happiness. Um, and I'm all for that. So, 
Uh, I'm just bringing a light to something that they dragged me in the middle of, and now they don't want me to to talk about it. Well, you brought somebody into your system who, number one, is a trained observer. I'm a trained observer. So even if it looks like I'm not observing, I'm observing, and, I, and I'm observing in detail. Uh, the second thing that uh, skill that I have uh, that they don't realize is I'm also a systems analyst. That means I can take any system, doesn't make a difference what system it is, and break it down if I want to. Uh, this system I've been breaking down, and I certainly do want to break it down because it needs to be. Uh, there's holes in it all over the place. Unfortunately, they're not, they're just not going to correct anything. Um, and uh, that's what I'm doing. So uh, I got their system down and the way they run things. Uh, I have no problem speaking about that, um, and they shouldn't have any problem with me speaking about it, uh, because this is America, and we have freedom of speech, and, uh, and freedom of press, and we have a constitution, and all types of rights, uh, you know, I think people really should start looking at what's going on in this country, and uh, that's just my opinion, and I, I say that as a patriotic American. All right, I'll talk with everybody later. Uh, I have a, a lot of stuff I got to do today within the legal system. So uh, it's got me a little amped up. All right. I'll talk with everybody later. Bye.